Hi everybody and today we're looking at the Acuta Solaris 80mm white light solar telescope uh, linked by in the description below obviously you're supporting our channel by doing so as I know a number of you have done already now I was going to do a setup guide but straight out of the box once you take all the protective uh, polystyrene covers off that's it it's pre-set up other than the only additional thing to put on is the digiscope and adapter or smartphone adapter but I will come on to that shortly and so this one it comes I don't know if you can see it a built-in white light solar filter do not I repeat do not remove that filter uh, you can go blind only once then that's it game over do not meddle with that filter and so if you are looking at it with children parental supervision is a must and so with this one you have and I'll show you shortly when I put it on a tripod a side mounted bar there a little finder scope there which is dedicated for just looking at the sun which helps a little bit but I actually found it easier when it was on lowest magnification to just line it up just just like that really looking down the tube itself it will take some patience and practice finding the sun bear with it the eyepiece is fixed not fixed magnification and prism fixed in place and it's uh, the, the prism by the way it gives left right opposite and so you will have to be moving it left right opposite to what you'd think but you, you soon get used to that uh, so the it's 25 to 80 magnification uh, uh, with a twist eye cup uh, I, I found it easy just to leave it down not the highest quality twist eye cup but it is uh, you know uh, relatively budget uh, solar scope compared to many but a very very nice smooth operation to the zoom which goes from say 25 to 80 times but I found 25 times gives a much sharper view although well, it's still pretty good at high magnification and, and also uh, because you're seeing mo more of it at the same time it's travelling across the field of view much less so you're having to not track and follow it although the, there is a, a mount that you can get that will help with that and I'll link to that in the description as well and so another thing <coughs> that's built in is a, a filter wheel so it's got yellow, blue, orange, green I think or no filter at all just to give different effects I, I think the yellow and orange give a nice effect when looking through them very nice and easy to focus uh, I'll show you an image close up because when you get to a certain point you'll see an, a little image of a star or the sun there and get it about as it is now in the photographs and that will be <clears throat> just about in focus you might have to do some fine tuning either side but but it will help with the focus uh, and as you zoom in and out you will also uh, have to just fine tune the focus but the, the clarity considering this is just a 400mm f5 you'd think you'd need really high power the clarity at 25 times the detail now, believe me I have been trying it I'm not just saying that is astonishing it really really is and so I said I'd mention the smartphone adapter which will not come on to at the moment because it's a little bit of advice I've always given people whether it be through my YouTube videos over the phone face to face enjoy the view through the eyepiece first worry about taking photographs later so maybe at a later date I will show you how to hook up a camera and uh, show you some results yeah, but believe me that, that's where frustrations begin like if, if people start trying to take photographs before they've even looked through the eyepiece enjoy the view through the eyepiece believe me that is so rewarding and uh, would you believe uh, I even had a customer recently not this telescope but another telescope that was asking about how to set up the smartphone adapter fair enough they hadn't even taken everything out of the box I mean it's one thing to say try, you know it's running before you can walk trying to take photographs before looking for the eyepiece but asking about taking photographs before you've even taken it out of the box 
look through the eyepiece the good old-fashioned way you will be rewarded and so that's uh, I mentioned it's 1.75 kilograms and so I'm shortly going to show you uh, how to put it onto a tripod a photographic tripod but one thing I would say is uh, in particular later on if you do start taking photographs get the most dirty tripod you can get even better if it's a an aluminium uh, uh, astronomical uh, tripod something like the Skywatch uh, AZ4 or a, a larger EQ mount with an you may need an L-shaped bracket which I will explain shortly so yeah get the very very uh, best and uh, sturdiest tripod you can afford and not the one that I'm going to show you now in the demonstration which is only just for demonstration purposes exhibit A one lightweight tripod that I would not recommend for photographic use but it's just for demonstration purposes exhibit B one Solaris 80mm solar spotting scope and so how do we put this onto here uh, well what I'll do now is I will crop in a little bit and we'll have a, a closer look so you've got your, your Acuta 80 solar scope you're wanting to put it on the tripod that way up but look there's no dovetail bar that's because it is side mounted and that's your standard Skywatch of Vixen dovetail bar I've already put a tripod plate on it and so it will go on as a, a, a standard um, uh, dovetail mount and so to put it on the tripod itself what we shall do is put it into place like so click and there we are oh but hang on it's on its side so how are you going to adjust well you can't you can't actually adjust it you can un, you can loosen it off but I I wouldn't recommend that so what I've got here is a, a, a tripod with a, a three-way head so all you do slacken that off like that and now and this is how, how I've been using it you see what I mean and this is why if you're using a, a Skywatcher EQ mount or an, another AZ mount with standard dovetail mountings on you will need an L-shaped bracket you can get them from various brands and so so for visual use a lightweight tripod like this it does the job uh, but if it's a bit windy it may knock out of place and if you're using it photographically you might look through it have it in the center of the view put a smartphone on and it will just go down that little bit and you'll lose the sun and that, that is why you need to have a very very strong tripod that will stay into place but that's basically how easy it is to use uh, with a side mounted uh, dovetail uh, connection there so yeah uh, I hope all this helps thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time